So chances are, if you're clicking on this video, you like the new Rolexes, or at least you're curious enough to know how do you get it at retail. Well, I got good news today, guys. I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret of how to get these watches at retail and not spending a dollar over. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anthony, and this is Watch With Me. I haven't uploaded in just about a month. To be honest with you, I've wanted to, but I'm not going to make a video unless I have something to say. And you know what? Today I got something to say. Before we get into how to get a Rolex at retail, we're going to talk about what's on my wrist, and that is a Rolex Submariner. This is my 168000 transitional model, 1987, only made for nine months. Very cool piece. And you know what? I think it is a sleeper of a pick from the Rolex Submariner line, and it is vastly underrated in my opinion. But enough of all that, let's get into the topic. Okay, so first things first, what you need to realize is that when you go ahead and call a retailer and say, do you have a Rolex Submariner with the green bezel, black dial, AKA the Kermit, what you have to realize is they're getting bombarded with calls all throughout the week, all throughout the day. So you're not original, you're not the first one doing it. So let's get that out of the way. Second of all, what you have to realize is an authorized Rolex retailer can only sell within their territory. So if you have never shopped with this retailer, you cannot get the Rolex if you're not in their territory. If I'm calling from Pennsylvania and I'm calling a New York uh, authorized retailer, they're not gonna send me the watch. It's just plain and simple. This is how they protect smaller markets that all around the country so they can go ahead and sell Rolexes to, to their population versus a larger retailer that's getting more product but can perhaps ship all over the country. This is Rolex doing it to protect the ADs. So just know that right off the bat. Third of all, you need to build a relationship with this retailer. Let's just go ahead and put this out there. Let's just say for instance, a Rolex AD gets in five Rolex Submariners within five months. So just about one a month. You're the new guy walking in or calling and you want this watch. Do you think that this retailer doesn't have VIP clients or clients that have been shopping with them that want this watch? I mean, it's just common sense. I know people get very upset about why can't I walk into a retailer and get this? What you have to understand is if there was enough pieces out, they would have them in the showcases, but they sell very quickly. The only way to get these watches is by building a relationship with your AD. Now, whether that's buying your engagement ring, if you're gonna propose, if you're married, getting jewelry for your wife or your partner. If you are a watch guy, maybe buying a Breitling or an Omega or Breguet or so on and so forth at that AD instead of going secondhand at maybe a better rate. Yes, you might be spending slightly over what you can get it from uh, a gray market dealer or secondhand, but guess what? When you're buying your Rolex at retail, you're saving thousands of dollars. That is the only way to get these watches. Go into your AD and introduce yourself. Let them know you're a watch guy. I haven't purchased from you before. I've purchased from different people. I have a collection, but I want to build a relationship with you and I understand how it works. I know I'm not gonna get the watch right away, but I wanna show you that I'm loyal to you and that I'm an authentic person and I'm not gonna go ahead and buy this watch and try and flip it. Perhaps you don't get a new Kermit this year. Maybe you get it next year, or maybe you don't get it at all, but you know what? If you show loyalty, you're buying jewelry, buying different watches and build a relationship with this AD, I can guarantee you one year, maybe it's 2023, when Rolex releases something new and exciting that everyone wants, maybe a Coca-Cola GMT Master II, you're gonna be able to get this watch. It takes time. People are very impatient, and that's why they're going to gray market dealers, or they're going to secondhand retailers, and they're paying over a list. Maybe they consider, I bought a, a Batman for 13 grand, so you know I didn't do that bad. I only spent you know $3,500 over a list compared to you know $5,500 over a list. That's not doing anything for you. You need to put in the time and show commitment to an AD. Is it the most fair way to do it? I think it's the only fair way to do it. The retailers are not getting enough product to give to everybody, and they have to be committed and loyal to their loyal clients. That's the only way around it. Big retailers are getting numerous calls uh, and emails for this product all throughout the week, all throughout the year. They're getting hundreds and hundreds of new clients contacting them. I can speak for myself, for my store, I'm getting clients calling from different countries looking for this watch. Every person that's calling us, 
I don't think that I'm special. I know they're calling not just my store, they're calling hundreds of stores to find that one AD that goes, you know what, yeah, I'll sell it to you. But I'm telling you right now, that's not how it works, guys. I would love to know what you guys think about this topic. And do me a favor, if you found this information a little bit helpful, do me a favor, drop me a like and give me a sub. It lets me know that you appreciate it and I would appreciate that very, very much. But that's it guys. I would love to know your thoughts on this information. Let me know what you think. Did you know that this is how it works? Or is this news to you? I would love to know. And if you guys have any questions, you can always direct message me on Instagram at watch with me or go ahead and leave a comment down below. But it is great to sit in front of the camera again and talk to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, take it easy.